people, they, they either won't, they won't eat or they won't, they won't put the heating on, they won't, you know, it's, it's going to be one thing or another for them. Yeah. Um, we, we're seeing it now. Getting new people every time that we open. We had 15 new on Monday nice. and I think we've had about 7 or 8 new today, plus our regular people and we just don't know how long we can continue doing this. some heartbreaking stories about things like people using solar powered garden lights, powering them up during the day and then using them in the house at night to avoid having to put lights on. We've seen a rise in the people that are using the food bank but we can't keep up with demand. Right. We're low on stock, people can't donate as they're struggling themselves. The shops are struggling to help people. It's just, we can't keep up with the demand and so, we don't know how we're going to continue. We are really in a desperate national emergency here and people like Tracy, who've been keeping local people going with food and with supplies, she's literally telling me she doesn't know whether this food bank can survive. The utilities are pushing people to having to access food banks more because the money's going on the utilities rather than going on the food that they need. If it's a toss up between money and feeding the family or paying the rents, the money's going to go on, on, on the family, it's going to go on, on, on the essentials as they see it. Is this young families or is it single people? It's a mixture of both. Is it working, non-working, right. families, older people? It's a mixture of everybody. So it's, um, and, and where do people go if you're not here? That's the worrying problem, we don't know. There'd be a lot of people going hungry. There'd be a lot of people not being able to cope with everything. I don't know how people are going to cope with the winter.